Hey everyone. In this tutorial, we'll talk about built-in containers in Python. So these are data types that allow you to put collect, basically collect other data types in. Right. So you have lists and dictionaries are the two most common containers in Python. There are other ones that we'll mention at the end as well. So essentially a container is an object that holds other objects. Two of these are lists and dictionaries. These are going to hold strings, numbers, booleans, and even other containers. So let's start with lists. Lists are the most common container in Python, along with arrays usually and dictionaries. You can imagine a list as a list of things, such as a shopping list. A list is created with square brackets to open and close the list, and each item in the list is separated from the next with a comma. So in this first cell, we have an example of a list. We have three, th three strings in this list. We have a string called oranges, a string bread, and a, a string of spargel. And each of these objects in the list are separated by a comma. So if we run this, we can see it just outputs exactly what we put in. And we've just created a list. As you can see above, this is basically a fake shopping list, but it can also strings, uh, sorry, lists can also hold other data types, such as yeah, strings as we had above, integers, floating point numbers, Boolean values. And if we run this, you can see, we can also put lists in other lists, such as in this cell here, we have an outer list, the outside and then within that the second item or second element in the list is another list so you can see that it just outputs exactly what we put in we can also put lists in lists and lists and this is no problem but it can get confusing and is often then something that you would probably want to start using dictionaries or arrays instead of lists in python so next we'll talk about dictionaries. Dictionaries, you can imagine as an actual dictionary, essentially each word has a description, but in Python we say each word is a key and each description as, is a value. Dictionaries are created with curly brackets. Uh, each uh, item is separated with a comma and each key value pair is separated with a colon. Essentially, a simple example here. So this is our shopping list from above. And this would be a dictionary example of that shopping list. And you can see how this can be useful. So instead of just saying if oranges, bread, and spargel on our shopping list, we can actually now say we have, we want four oranges. We want one loaf of bread, for example, and we want two spargel. And if we output this, we can see that we get just what we put in. And we've created a dictionary. Um, and of course, dictionaries are not limited to strings and integers. We can here, we can have uh, an integer as a, as a key value, a key and a string as a value. We can have a string as a key and a Boolean as a value. And we can have a, a string as a key and a list as a value. And of course we can put dictionaries in dictionaries. We can put lists in dictionaries and dictionaries and lists and all this kind of thing. And, and that's why they're called containers because everything can have everything else within it. However, when you're creating dictionaries, it's good to uh, write them in a more readable manner when you're, when you're creating them. So essentially you have your, your key value pairs in each line, like so, when you have many key value pairs in your dictionary. And you can you probably agree that this is a bit clearer than what we had up here, for example. Yeah. So when to use each of these data types, right? Each of these containers. Well, lists should be used when you want to gather objects together. This can be any type of other data types, such as uh, booleans, integers, strings, lists, dictionaries. Uh, dictionaries are very useful when you have some sort of key value pair. So where two things go naturally together and two other containers that we didn't talk about in this tutorial were uh, tuples. Tuples are essentially a, a list, but the data is not changeable in place. So it's immutable and sets. Sets are essentially lists where there are no duplicates and they can be very useful. And we'll talk about these 
in further tutorials in the future. More examples of lists and dictionaries can be found in the variables in Python notebook on the GUKLAG repository, as well as in this playlist, there's a video on these variables as well. And they show you how to index and slice lists and dictionaries, and as well as that other, other data types too. <laughs>